All right, we're recording, and this is the Munu Papi. Um, whole idea of this, and you're listening to it right now, is it's a professional mic preamp. Um, this is great, even on something like the 688, which I'm recording this off, uh, because la- actual channels 7 through 12, and the same with the 633, channels 4 through 6, only accepts line inputs. Uh, but I am magically listening, uh, or recording, rather, with a, a 416 on this. Um, so let's look at this little beauty. Um, we've obviously got the meters here. We've got how much gain I'm adding um, to the actual uh, microphone. Um, we've got bass cut even, uh, which is built in, which is very nice. Um, we can choose our reference point of either zero or minus 20. Uh, we've got the on button. Um, this will need to be powered via a four pin uh, Hiroshi cable, or a fancy new option is uh, the USB port. Um, so even if you have a portable battery charger in your rig, um, you can use that as well. Um, then we have the limiter as well, and part of that is going on actually if I go a bit too high. So um, yeah, there's that. And then obviously 48 volts, which is obviously really useful. Um, this is the most up- up-to-date version of uh, the Ma- Mini Pappy. Um, you might have seen a few more. They brought out one last year. Uh, there's been a number of different um, things, mainly the USB powering that's been added, uh, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, the Sometimes it's a bit tricky to plug all this in. It comes out of a TA3 and it goes in via an XLR, which is nice. Although the XLR has a bit of kind of jiggle in it, um, but that, that seems to be okay. But it's, um, yeah, I did, I did wonder slightly about that. Um, and obviously you're hearing me right now being recorded, so everything hopefully should be fine. Um, this is uh, 0 dB on the actual uh, 688 itself, and then it's all just coming through here. Um, so yeah, and you even have a nice little uh, metering as well that you can see. Uh, so that is kind of the introduction to the Mini Pappy. Now, I, what I would have loved, which probably would have uh, changed a lot of people's worlds, is if they could somehow get another little internal battery into it, uh, because then it could easily see this being used as a kind of wireless um, boom scenario as well, uh, where you could obviously uh, feed something in, power it with uh, phantom power, and then get something out as well. But that is a nice little short introduction and setup uh, to the Mini Pappy. And yeah, there's your XLR, there's your power, there's your TA3, and uh, we're recording right off it now, so hopefully it's sounding good. Um, Base cut goes up to 200 hertz, so now you can hear this in real time of me going all the way to 200 and then turning all the way back down to get that lovely boost uh, from slight proximity effect. Um, You can also, if you can dig into it, again with a lot of these I find that it's useful to have the electrosonics screwdriver. Um, Then obviously we've padded it down by minus 20 as well. Uh, So now just bring that up a little bit more, but I'm hitting the level. Um, So yeah, now we're way too loud. There we go. Okay, and we're back. So mini pappy, everybody. There we go. 